are there any examples or common instances that you've come across like either in your own career or with peers in the industry yeah so I I think there's a number of examples I think this is a pretty ubiquitous problem it's it's faced by companies of all shapes and sizes Um, there are some sort of well-known businesses that have been impacted by this so I've read up on uh, companies like Facebook and Google who've suffered losses of over $100 million through fraud perpetrated by false invoices, for example. Just last week, um, I had an email from a local accountant who was advising of an APP that had been perpetrated by somebody pretending to be their bank. So they contacted the company The company had just made some payment runs. The fraudster acting as the bank had advised the company that there was suspicious activity on the account, that they needed to transfer money back into their account from a holding account. The company shared the screen inadvertently with the fraudster, and that resulted in them authorising a subsequent transfer of £200,000. So that's a local business. Uh, And then I know somebody that I've worked with for a number of years, they actually had their emails hacked. Somebody had control of an email account, found documentation from a funder, produced a, a, a fake letter advising that that funder's bank account details had changed and requested a significant payment into this alternative account. Um, In that case, that payment didn't happen because some sensible checks were undertaken in terms of contacting that funder. But yeah, there's all sorts of ways and means of doing this. And that means we need to be really alert to it. Yeah, absolutely. It just goes to show as well, doesn't it? It can happen to absolutely any business. Doesn't matter whether you're a multi-billion pound entity or a little um, small, medium-sized business. 